Cord blood is the blood that is in the placenta. The placenta is what connects the baby uh, to uh, the uterus, the mother's uterus. And the blood in the placenta and the cord that can, and the umbilical cord that connects the baby to the placenta is actually the infant's blood. What we're doing when we're collecting the cord blood is instead of throwing out the placenta, we are taking that blood, processing it, and storing it. The blood from the placenta is very rich in stem cells, particularly the cells that um, will eventually be able to develop into the bloodline. And that's why the cord blood is very useful if a child or even an adult needs a bone marrow transplant because it's rich in those cells which then can repopulate the bone marrow. The hope is that those stem cells will be able to be used in other directions and create other kinds of cells. For example, uh, nerves or uh, organs or uh, endocrine uh, cells. And so that's where the research is going right now. And one of the great hopes and promises for um, cord blood is that it will be able to treat a host of diseases as opposed to um, bone marrow transplants alone. We had a baby whose blood we stored who had a stroke while in the uterus. Um, he was unable to move his arm and his leg or had minimal use of his arm and his leg. The decision was made with the neurologist um, to give him a cord blood transplant. The fascinating thing was that within 48 hours, uh, he was able to begin moving his arm and his leg dramatically better than he had before. And in fact, at this point, there is a whole study uh, being funded at one of the major universities to see the usefulness of cord blood uh, on neurologic problems.